countless variables come into winning a NASCAR race. Speed and skill of the driver, a fast car and a good pit crew are essential, but race tactics are just as important. For the crew chief, tyre changes, pit stop adjustments and, in particular, fuel strategy are key. Austin Dillon, the new leader, as Jimmy Johnson is out of gas. He's going to make it. Uh -oh, oh, he's uh -oh. got to run. He's out going. Of fuel. Out of fuel. Oh, no. You're kidding me. Yeah, out of gas. Up. Getting the calculations wrong can mean heartbreak. Getting it right can bring victory in the biggest race of the season. Kurt Busch for Gene Haas and Tony Stewart wins the Daytona 500. <laughs> Kurt Busch's win at Daytona represented a perfect fuel strategy. When the 41 crossed the line, there was nothing but fumes in the tank. Attrition is always a big thing at Daytona. And when Gibson said that we were a little shy on fuel, half a lap, I'm like, ah, that's, that's a calculator fuzz. We'll be fine. And so I took that mental approach of, I'm not going to let any outlying thing take away from what I have to focus on. And really, I didn't focus on fuel for the end of the race. I just went for it. A race like the Daytona 500 takes months of planning. Crews know exactly how many laps they should be able to run on a full fuel load. Together with a detailed knowledge of past races, the team's strategists can go to work. Speedway racing is hard because you're literally running around the racetrack wide open. Um, so we're, what happens in speedway racing is you start lifting when you get a run and you pull up and then you're in and out of the gas and that's using a wasting gas. You know, you go to a place like Loudoun, you go to a place like Chicago and you can just lift early, use less brake. It's way easier to, uh, I think, to save fuel. Most of the fuel strategy stuff is talked about before the race and, and we'll kind of know the way that the stages are split up and when the cautions fall and we'll actually practice some of those strategies during practice to have an understanding of how much fuel we can save with different lift points and different strategies that we use throughout the day and they can also help us with engine tuning if we feel like we're not able to use all the power or we can you know tune the engine differently so there's a lot of different things that go into it but it's it's usually a weekly topic of how many laps you can go and the things you can do at the circuit on race weekend, car speed, race position and track conditions can all affect fuel mileage. Running dry often happens when taking a risk, trying to stretch that fuel just one extra lap. And he's out of gas. Big, big points implications for the four team. When it comes into those fuel mileage races, you just kind of have to coach the best you can. And uh, most of the drivers are, are pretty experienced. They know what they need to do to save a little bit of fuel and when they can save it. And being in that right situation to, to stay in the draft and not try to lead the pack. Throughout the day, we'll monitor what kind of laps per gallon we're getting. And then you kind of average it. And you, you'll see that it'll fluctuate because you might be mid-pack versus running out front. And that's when it gets tricky. Sometimes it, it fluctuates more than you want and you can't really make it solid decision or know exactly how much you have and that's where it really comes down to the driver taking care of it and understanding when we're half a lap short we're counting on you making that half a lap up <laughs> just ride along with kevin harvick right here he is absolutely slowed down to a minute 2162 here and he is saving some fuel you run the race backwards basically from a strategy standpoint to try to stay out as much as you can at the end and a lot of that depends on uh, the performance of the car that day and, and you, you know sometimes you just say all right we don't have the performance speed wise today so let's try to out strategize them and, and fuel is is one of those ways to do that. Kevin Harvey a one two three for four. Awesome job.